All right, good morning. Welcome back to the Ox Life Podcast. We're doing our series, Clarity for the Culture. I am one of your hosts, Drip Daddy C. Uh, new chain involved, so <laughs> this is my chain's debut, so uh, Drip Daddy C today. Accompanied by Uncle Keys, a.k.a. Captain Pornhub. This is Marcus the Stunt Devil. Fucking killing it. <laughs> Set a Rico in the house, watch your mouth. Mm-hmm. So we're all here. We're here for like one of our later matchups. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do this last week. We got the Bill Cosby show facing off against my wife and kids, which is upset both girlfriends and different world. I'm not surprised. Uh, so Tupac rolling in his grave Stress right now. Me out. Tupac rolling over in his grave right now because y'all didn't pick a different world. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into our matchup. Yeah. Straight into our matchup here. So we know our criteria, star power, supporting cast, uh, guest appearances, sustainability, theme song and then we added two more uh pieces of criteria last week which is impact on the culture and then relevant societal issues uh, which seems to be an x factor for a lot of these uh tv shows that we got going on so let's get into it star power bill cosby aka cliff huxable facing off against damon wayans who's michael kyle and my wife and kids who has what bill he said that definitively like what's up I cosby know. why uh a household name again. Um, even with the even with the situation, he's yeah. Okay. Despite the situation, I'm not even including that. Despite what's happening this, during the damn time. To Allegedly, uh, no, no, he's in jail. <laughs> That's real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> There's yeah, no yeah, alleged yeah, assault. Bill, There's no allegations here. He's in jail. In the right comedic now. world, fuck R. Kelly. He can drown in the dirt. Uh, well, yeah. Bill, um, household name again, comedic. Came up with Richard Pryor, which is a legend. Um, Richard Pryor told him to eat a dick one time. <laughs> yeah, Richard Pryor is off the wall. Um, he has plenty of awards, nominations. Um, I'm not sure what accolades Damien Wayne's had accomplished. I'm pretty sure there are, but I don't think it's a match for Bill Cosby. So I'm going with Bill. <coughs> I mean... Let me put aside Bill Cosby and talk mm. about Bill Cosby. Um, you know, I originally wanted to go with Damian Wayans, um, and, and I'm you are? still going with Damian yeah, Wayans. Um, bet. You know, I'm more of the fan of the underdogs in here, um, and I think he's an underdog going against Pil- uh, Bill Cosby. Mm. Um, and I say this because, you know, he started off in a big family. Um, I would tune in more to Damian Wayans if – before I would do Bill Cosby on, on any day. Um, he is a pioneer. Don't get me wrong. Right. He started a lot of things. Right. He was a great representative for comedians mm-hmm. in a positive note, in a good spotlight. Yep. He wasn't one of the raunchy ones. He was somebody who paid attention to his craft and his character. And he didn't let nobody undermine who he was. But I'm giving it to Damon because mm. it's just my preference. Yeah. So for star power, I got Damon Wayans. Right. I appreciate and admire you taking me under dog rule. Here role. we go. Um, but it's just These not are the this, facts. Not These the are the facts. I said I what I, I said. <laughs> haven't even watched the Cosby show. I love the Cosby show. Are you joking? Oh, shit. As I was saying. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had mentioned some of his awards, I think maybe last week or two weeks ago. Just uh, Golden Globe, 84, 85, seven Grammys, and then over 70 honorary degrees. Mm, Again, Spellman. Nice. Spellman and Howard, uh, which Copes. have all been like retracted since then because of his his uh, legal so he never situation. got them. So no, he was given them and then they took them back. So he don't got nothing. If I give you fifty dollars and take it back, you had fifty dollars. But I don't got fifty dollars now because I took it back. But you had so it. I don't have it no more. No, you don't have it no more. But you had it. No, I don't have <laughs> it at all. Okay, <laughs> elitism. <laughs> okay, but yeah, Elite. no, just uh, Bill Cosby, just so well accomplished. I mean. Damon Wayans might not even be the best Wayans. Again, I think it's Keenan. Keenan is the Kenan one who put it all together. And Kim. Keenan and Kim. So um, I just I got Bill Cosby. Keep it brief. Jesus, more it accomplished, brief. more accolades. Uh, and Damon's only member more. outside of this. He's only yeah. remembered in uh, Major Pain. Major Pain. No, that, that's he actually had it. more money. Um, he had another movie with Bruce Willis. He has some things Those under his belt. Most Bruce memorable. I forgot, one, though, but he was a he was an ex football he was an ex what, football player. What was more memorable? I love that movie. Major Pain. Can you name anything memorable. else other than what Bill Cosby? Nope, I don't does? need to. What okay. more do you want? 
What more you didn't have to do exactly. anything else. Exactly. So <laughs> you want to stand, stand up? By, yeah. I, I said stand what up. I said Okay. while I'm saying it. Heard you. Well, let's say some other stuff. Uh, we're going into supporting <laughs> cast now. Um, there's Claire Huxable, Theo, Rudy, Denise, also Vanessa, who we disrespected and didn't put up there. Well, I disrespected and didn't put up there. That's my mm. fault. Uh, going against Jay, Michael Jr., uh, Katie, Kyle, and then Claire Kyle. Those are all the supporting cast members of my wife and kids. Where are we leaning towards us, gentlemen? I <laughs> look it tells me. Oh, I gotta <laughs> go you first. Know huh? You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Uh, for supporting cast, I'm going with the Cosby Show. Mm-hmm. Why? Because every they just meshed together. Um, mm-hmm. The characters just meshed perfectly. Again, it was like uh, a positive family setting. Opposed to my wife and kids, it was like it was a positive was family a, yeah, setting it too. Was more of a goof troop, positive rather than serious, where you can actually learn some shit. You fucking look like Damon Wayans. What are you talking about? Anywho, Said. where you can actually learn well, you look like, like Junior. An actual life learning experience, I would tune into the Cosby Show to receive such, rather than a goof troop in my life and kids. They had some really <coughs> powerful moments though on that show. Remember yeah. Michael's like smoking weed like the first yeah, episode. True. Yeah, so. He that never a, happened. In, like, the, he was, he, he was having a baby. Yeah. His father walked through the whole scenario. How, how, he got how married many, early. How, too. How, many, how many verses was it the Cosby? Versus? How many can you remember? I'm just saying you're talking about like some of the scenes that were in there. I, I think my wife and kids had some stuff that was. But I know. think overall, okay. the, rep, the representation was uh, mm-hmm. more of a liking right. for me. For supporting cast, so I'm going with the Cosby's. Yeah, Ain't going, shit you I'm, can tell I'm, me. I'm going with my wife and kids. Yeah, I, I don't do the cheesy shit. I don't do the. I, I, don't get me wrong. I uh-huh. don't, don't don't get no. So I'm going with the Cosby's. <laughs> oh. I feel like I looked you into changing your mind. Nah, 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 nah. I'll be realistic at oh, this yeah. point. I mean, given the time frame and what was put on television at that time, mm-hmm. I feel like this cast was a not necessarily meshed very well, but it looked like an actual family outside of outside of the TV show. Right. And I, I think you can always, um, you, you always have to take a good look into the Cosby show and each character represents something. Um, I think they were, I just think that it, if you put these two head to head with each other, I think the Cosby show beats it, period. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm going with the Cosby show. Oh, nice and all, you came to a realization. You no, came not to yet. Your not, no, no, you I came didn't. to your no, senses finally. No, 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 Thank you. Don't speak ahead. Yeah, supporting cast, I have the Bill Cosby show. I mean, if you match them up, everybody on the Bill Cosby show is more accomplished than everybody in my wife and kids. Uh, Lisa Bonet, Denise has been Emmy nominated. Malcolm Warner won an Emmy and a Grammy. Rudy is a three-time NAACP award winner. And Felicia Rashad was the first black actress to win a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play. Wow. So when, yeah. when you're the first in anything. Right. You're pretty popping. As not a to woman. mention, as a woman, not to mention, to Claire Huxtable gates. is by far the best TV mom ever. Yep. <coughs> and I'll fight whoever who disagrees with me. Like, best TV mom ever. My fault. Last week I said Phil, <laughs> Uncle Phil was the best TV dad. Claire Huxtable oh, by shit. far is the best TV mom. And I have a scene to prove it when we get later into our criteria. The so, best TV mom ever? Ever. That's crazy. Ever. That's crazy. Facts. Over, um, I'm back in that. Over on Viv? Ever. I'm, yes, ever. Oh, okay. That might be That's another show. That's crazy. All right, sticking on topic here, we got guest appearances. To make it a little bit shorter, I think last time, last week, we'd agree, just pick three that stand out to yeah. you and just kind of argue which were the better mm-hmm. uh, guest appearances. So, who wants to get that started? Um, I'm going with my wife and kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm going because what? with- What? Yeah, like what? Hold on. Let me get my shit out. Going with my wife and kids, like I like I've been saying before, I like how the characters play into the TV show, not just guest appearances, not just a cameo for a little hot minute and then be gone. Cat Williams was a reoccurring character on the show, and I feel like his guest appearance was funny. Terry Crews' guest appearance was funny. It's a joke. I, I like goofy, funny. Shit, I feel like they made better use of their characters with guest appearances. So I'm going with my wife and kids. Listen, listen. That's it. I said what I said while I'm saying it. All right. Are you gonna? P- All right. Uh, <laughs> you seriously chose my wife and kids? 
I did. Wow. Cosby's. Shake the room a little bit. B.B. King. Legendary blues singer. Alicia Keys. Enough said. She was like baby Alicia Keys, though, in this one. I mean, she, it look, still matters, but yeah, yeah. of course. Alicia Keys. And Sammy Davis Jr. I could I could have, I can go numerous. You know. Yeah, of course. He's Angela a Bassett. But it's my opinion. Don't look at me while you're saying Stevie these things, Wonder. Okay? Dick but Come on, man. Stop. I said pick three. <laughs> like, yeah, no I one's picked three. Yeah, like, you yeah. picked them all. Listen, <laughs> you picked five. And I picked two. <laughs> Landslide them. Oh my God. Has Get them out of here. Okay. Has anybody on my wife and kids done anything besides be famous? Listen, listen, listen. Fuck the accolades and shit right now, okay? I'm going with my wife and kids based off of what I witnessed in the TV show. Okay. Um, so I'm going with the Cosby show. Uh, Lena Horne has been oh, has been given Lifetime Achievement Award from the Grammys. She's also been inducted into the International Civil Rights Hall of Fame. Facts. Inducted I already knew this. I knew into this the International Civil Rights yeah, Hall, I, Hall I, of I, Fame. I, but I knew this, okay? I knew this. Hall of Fame. You, you know who also is in that International Civil Rights Hall of Fame? You know who Lena Horne was at the time. <laughs> Do you also know who's in that International Civil Rights Hall of Fame? Me? Uh, no, you're not. Thurgood Marshall, Rosa Parks, Dr. Maya Angelou, and Sam- Sammy Davis Jr., who, by the way, also Her showed up man. on the Bill Cosby show. And then B.B. King, has been he's been given, what, 15 Grammys, honorary degree Goat. from Yale and Berkeley School of Music, Goat. and inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Bingo. You didn't know none of this shit. So, I love B.B. King. But you know Sammy about. Davis was like kind of like the the first Trump supporter before Trump. I can imagine. Well, he was a Because yeah, his, yeah. yeah, his politics. Yeah, because his politics was crazy back in the day. I know. He was, but uh, he was also involved in like, He was also involved in World War II, so he's an mm-hmm. activist more than just an entertainer as well. I just feel like the Bill Cosby hey, show. Listen, more God. star power over Cat Williams, who I he don't made to a, be a Cat. reoccurring character. And Terry Crews, who... The best been argument inducted. is Michael Jordan. Yeah. And Megan Good. Yeah. Okay, minus what not he even says Megan about it. You wouldn't be able to have this information present to to make an argument with me. What are you talking about? If he didn't have none of this shit, your argument would be nowhere. My argument is valid without Fuck his information. Out of here. No, You're my, just mad because you're getting shut validates. down with actual <laughs> information. <laughs> validates the Bill Cosby show. Whatever. So let's move on. Sustainability. You're just mad because uh, you're losing again. No, yeah, whatever. Loser. Loser. I okay. lose every week. Sustainability. Uh, the Cosby Show has been on for 12 years, from 84 to 92. They have 197 episodes. Going Against My Wife and Kids, which has 124 episodes in a span of five years. We usually have this as a numbers game, but I'm never sure anymore because we broke what that trend. <laughs> so what is it that you guys have for sustainability? I got Bill Cosby. Very sure. I'm positive. Okay. I got Bill Cosby. Bill. Bill, too. I'm not even going to get into it. Uh, 197, that's a lot. It's close to 200. We said 200 is GOAT level. Yeah. Um, but they were also able to keep the cast together throughout 12 years. Yep. And then they added Raven Simone, which was Olivia, and then um, her she boyfriend, too, baby. which is pretty important. So I think we all got the Cosby Show for sustainability. Yep. All right, moving on. Theme songs. Yep. Theme song. We have the Cosby Show going against my wife and kids. Who yep. has what? Bill Bill Cosby. Theme. I got Bill. Bill, any reasons in particular? It's iconic. Dun, they introduce they're all dun, iconic. It's like but they, they, they introduce somebody dun, in the TV dun, show. Dun, yeah. dun, and during that time frame, dun, it was dun, um, dun, dun, like the representation of a black family within a theme song was crazy too. So, and that's yeah. and they they built off of it. So, take it. That's your answer. <laughs> Yeah, so I have the Bill Cosby show as well, solely for the fact that my wife and kids doesn't exist. I don't understand how you're going to compete against a show that doesn't have one. Um, so, yeah, the Cosby show, not to mention any of different genres of music every other season. So there's, like, that blues one that you're singing now. There's mm-hmm. another one that has, like, more of a bachata kind of vibe to yeah. it. So they was always mixing I it up. I seem, yes, yes, thank you for the clarity. You're welcome. Um, it, I mean, it, it catches the attention, though. Yeah, so it just had different genres mm-hmm. of music, different renditions. I mean, I think they're all popping, too, So, except the first one. The first one's trash. But, yeah, so I think for theme song, we all got Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Impact on the culture should be interesting. Who has what? Cosby. Why? The Cosby sweaters, ugly sweaters. Every Christmas, they're making up a new thing with ugly sweaters, and mm-hmm. it all came back to mm-hmm. Bill. He wasn't Which the first one with ugly sweaters, though. One that put it on display on television. Not really. People wanted the mirror was Bill. Came with something fresh. Every show, yeah. every scene, 
He had like turtlenecks and shit. Not like those weren't. Yeah, those weren't Kuji sweaters either. Like he had this other Australian brand that I looked into, but those weren't Kuji sweaters. Mm-hmm. I thought they were for the longest. They're not. Who Bill? Yeah. Oh no, nah. mm-hmm. they oh. weren't. Kuji I think sweaters. they introduced a new clothing brand in the midst of, of um, in the midst of the TV show as well too. Yeah. 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 But he, to impact just a piece of, piece of clothing alone. That's yeah. That's an, that's pretty impactful. powerful. Bill. You got Bill. Who you? Uh, I got Bill. Um, wow. His impact on culture was was crazy. They they represented a, a positive black family at, mm-hmm. at the time on NBC, which was actually struggling. Um, I remember when the, f- the show first started, yeah. they were struggling a little bit because they couldn't find like that that it mm-hmm. within the Bill Cosby show. So I liked it for that. Um, mm-hmm. It was also showing the fact that you can't spoil your kids, no matter how wealthy yeah. and wealthy you are. You have to make them work for everything. It's, it's mm-hmm. It was a good representation of everything, and especially for the positions that they held on the TV show with him being what was he a, a doctor, mm-hmm. obstetrician, obstetrician, and then his wife being a lawyer, an attorney. Um, his kids are, are, are struggling with the yeah. needs to that they, they think they have everything yeah. there offered to them, mm-hmm. but it was a good. They, they put it on display, and be like no, this. This is what we need to do within a black family. So mm-hmm. I got I got the Cosby Show. Yes, I have the Cosby Show as well. Uh, that was in my notes here. They just represented a educated black family mm-hmm. of wealth. Mm-hmm. And in 84, that seems like a dream. Like, I don't remember any show prior to that. You think about the Jeffersons. George Jefferson was working at a cleaners. Right. He just had a hustler. Ended up going well for him. Sanford and Sunday had trash. Like, every other black yeah. sitcom, no one was educated. And so to have a obstetrician who deals with, like, uh, premature birth and labor, um, that's pretty important. Like, um, first of all, a male doing that is yeah. insane. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, Claire was an attorney at law who was shutting shit down. I remember there's an episode with uh, one of the daughters. They get, like, this new apartment, and there's a slumlord, and she just rings them up. So, yeah, I just really appreciate the representation that was done. Um, and just having a black educated family is pretty important. So I got the Bill Cosby show as well. Got you. All right, that's impact on culture. Our last criteria here. Relevant, Relevant societal, societal issues. issues. Who has what? Cosby. Why? Uh, everything that the trials and tribulations that might go on in the family, um, they display that and how to come to a solution mm-hmm. rather than um, – just being separated, everybody in their own little corner, and just holding on to whatever problems that may be at hand. Um, mm-hmm. Everybody comes together at some point. Um, gems are being displayed upon one another. I hear um, you talking about like what issues came up from the Cosby shows that you think were really relevant to you. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> shit. We can force Marquise to go as you think about it. Yeah. Go ahead. Marquise, go ahead. <laughs> 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 ass white. Um, relevant societal issues. There was one mm. episode. It was called The Shirt Story. The what? Um, a shirt story. Okay. Um, I feel went to go buy an expensive shirt. Oh, designer shirt to impress a girl on a date. Yeah, yeah. So, but when, you know, Cliff sees it and was like, well, yeah. how much did you spend? He tells him the price. He, he was like, return it right now. Yeah. So Theo was paying more attention about the price to mm-hmm. everything. And he was like, no, you're paying attention to the price. You need to pay attention to the actual clothes itself because mm-hmm. you can get everything at a good bargain instead of just going out and buying one thing. Yeah. Try to make a sister do the shirt and it didn't come out as good as it planned. So yeah. I think the overall um, – message that he was getting out was when you know just because we're a wealthy family doesn't necessarily yeah. mean you have to go out yeah. and buy these things like you you have right. to be smart in terms of every decision that you make so mm-hmm. i think yeah. that was like a good kind of like a good highlight of a of one of the episodes so i think in the show bill says like me and your mother are rich you're not rich exactly you yeah, don't yeah. have any money you gotta work for yeah. we have the money yeah um yeah no i can appreciate that i can respect that I got the Bill Cosby show as well. Uh, there's another episode with uh, Theo who's doing budgeting. And so he says to his dad, like, you know, I don't need to get a real job. I'm going to be a model. And so the next day. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> yeah. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Theo says he's going to be a model and like he's going to make a bunch of money so that he doesn't really have to work hard or he doesn't have to pay back the debts that he's been giving out to his sisters. And so the next day they set up this whole like real world within the house where like he has to pay rent, he has to pay for food, he has to pay for his furniture. And it's just hilarious. So I think it's about budgeting, just kind of understanding where you stand financially, which is really important. But there's another episode in season six, episode 23, where Vanessa goes to see the wretched. And this scene is the one that makes Claire Huxable the best TV mom. So she goes to the wretched in Baltimore. Does it sound familiar now? Y'all don't remember this? Yeah, I kind of do. It's like the best episode ever. What the fuck ever. So Vanessa goes to see the wretched in Baltimore. They end up getting their money stolen. And it's up being like a terrible trip. And then they bring Vanessa home. And Claire rips into Vanessa like I've never seen it before. But it talks about trust with your child, uh, how to raise, how to punish, like lovingly. And it's something that really stood out to me. So I think that scene definitely made Claire Huxable the best mom ever. And I think some of those relevant societal issues really play into this day. So Got you. Yeah. But is there a lack of that? I feel like, is there, is it, is it, do you see that nowadays? Yes. Do I see parents having trust issues with their children? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Is, there, is there any type of like. I see it because I know I've been through it before. I mean, there were certain situations where I was being dishonest. And my mother had approached me about it, and we had to find a ways to kind of build trust and communicate more effectively. Shit, my mother just whooped my ass, and then she trusted me after. So yeah, that's I, yeah, that's usually what happened too. <laughs> it's like I caught you lying and beat your ass, but yeah, let's talk facts. about it afterwards. Yeah, 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 basically. So yeah, you know, I still feel like that's important to this day. Bingo. Yeah. All right. So to summarize it all up, who has what for who? I have star power, Damon Wayans. Yeah. I have supporting cast, Damon Wayans. Guest yeah. appearances, Bill, and the rest, Bill. So I have four to. No, four. I think it was four, three. Because you three had them bill. for guest appearances, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah four, three, yeah. Bill. Bill Cosby with the sweep. I had Bill Cosby with the sweep as well. 7 0. Oh. I don't know why, how to hide it. Uh, yeah. But then again, it know. does not matter what we think. It's all up to you and what you vote. I mean, my wife and kids has made it through two rounds unexpectedly. They could beat the Cosby show, which is a prohibited favorite in that bracket, the pudding pop bracket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, go out there, get out, vote. Uh, this is the last round that we're going to have for our Elite Eight. After you guys pick the winner for this, we'll have our final four, and then we'll kind of get that done accordingly. So get out, vote. This is Oxlife signing off. Signing off.